To let's save uh, this model, there was 3D forging uh, just already saved. So rename this model. With the LE and uh, mass scaling, and let it some parts it go back uh, in step module, then uh, go here and mass scaling put a mass scaling factor this part by factor or by target time increment. Can say like uh, five or six uh, is a power of minus. Uh, 5 or minus 6 you can put there and by a scale either of that you can use uh, maybe 100 or 1000 like let, let, let's put this this much uh, scale factor but I recommend you not uh, not more than 100 but uh, for this for demonstration purpose only let's put 1000 We'll click OK and uh, this is using this definition. So OK, then in this step module also go to here other and domain let manager and create use arbitrary Lagrangian mesh domain. So frequency you can uh, reduce this frequency or uh, increase this to tune a remishing per increment. So select region, which region will apply this ALE method. So select and choose set this blank or workpiece. Okay, this connected. So go to create job. Okay, one thing I think we miss here in boundary condition. Let's delete this one and create velocity angular velocity type and select the set. Click continue. Then in V2, that means in X direction, we put. 540 downward moment then go to everything is okay then uh, go to job and create job then submit and wait for result I'll show you later ok guys the result is completed here uh, so we have result so let's uh, go to here copy this model Copy this model, then uh, rename this without early. Then go to step module. So here on other early adaptive mesh controller. Then go to edit and remove this part. No early adaptive mesh domain for this step so go to this it says so at none so in this model name without ALE mass scaling and mass scaling we use uh, this no ALE method 
but uh, you will be it as uh, mass scaling previously we add this mass scaling and leave as it is so go to module create like uh, 3d forging let's say Submit and wait for uh, result. Okay, results come come out uh, like this. Without uh, ALE, how the models uh, looks like. I will show all uh, three. Let uh, continue another model uh, by copying this model name. Copy model. Then here no mass scaling. Without no mass scaling, how the models looks like? I'll show you. So go to step module, and for this purpose, go to edit and in my scaling tab just remove this one or uh, you can say like delete this part then uh, put in this use scale mass and throw step definition from the previous step so go click ok so for this model there is no uh, mass scaling we didn't add any mass scaling so the result is uh, very different from the previous one uh, regarding to accuracy and how the running time simulation now will show each uh, difference so go to job and create job name for this model xrd let's say so I have no mass scaling so click continue then uh, submit this part then wait for result okay the result is completed so we have three analysis here one is with uh, ALE and uh, also mass scaling the other is without ALE but we have mass scaling and the third one is without ALE and without no mass scaling I mean uh, no, no mass scaling we use uh, so the difference in running time as well as uh, the accuracy of the results different so go go here result so, uh, for example go here So using this cascaded viewport, let put H. And go to job also. And open this. So for, for this part, go to here and open this 
3D forge with the LA okay for this the next part go to here and open the second analysis in the same way let's add uh, Open the search model and see all uh, three parts. You can arrange like this way all three results. So, like let's this. Reduce like this way, you see. It put in this XY direction, and so look here we you can see the mesh profile here move down the same way let's apply every for both two so put in xy for this part also for this part xy direction so let's zoom zoom in here. So go to result time frame and apply here around this okay so look here the mesh distortion on this 3d forging the second analysis is without arbitrary lagrangian uh, Eulerian method or when you remove ala method the mesh distorted like this but the first one when you're applying ala this is very good result uh, like this way the third one also without ala method the mesh is distorted like this way so the other difference when you go to when you go to job okay uh, let's uh, go to job go to job and uh, monitor the result so uh, when you see the result in 3d forge the first one that is with uh, mass scaling so with mass scaling as well as with uh, a L A C G running time or CPU time this one seventeen thousand one hundred thirty eight point eight we have uh, the second or three D forging that is without A L E 
this much uh, value and without uh, no mass scaling or uh, when you remove mass scaling okay this one is 3d forging the second one that is uh, without ALA and we apply mass scaling here but the third one you see this part look here 3d forging LA, no mass scaling the monitor is this is the value one this much value you have 17811.1 so it takes so much time for running and for that of uh, with mass scaling a very low as compared to this one this much 463 only but the accuracy will somewhat uh, different so when you see this part for example regarding to accuracy you can uh, check that of uh, new history output the internal energy and uh, artificial or I mean internal energy and kinetic energy so select this 